What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack. This is Jack Reacts, and today, y'all, we have a very, very special video. Today, we got Michael Jackson Heartbreak Hotel live at Yokohama in 1987. This is very special, though, for two reasons. Number one, it's a live performance. This is only the second live performance that I've done from him on the channel. I believe the first one I did was Man in the Mirror, but that was a while ago. That was like a month or two ago, and he's such an incredible performer, so this is real long overdue. Secondly, this song in particular has just been very, very highly requested to me. A lot of y'all have asked me to do a bunch of different iterations of it. Apparently, this one's just very popular, and he's performed it at a lot of different shows, and I'll make sure to check out each of those live performances y'all yeah, don't worry but i chose to do this one first and i'm very very excited my anticipation is through the roof and i'm not going to talk too long normally i would have the lyrics put up but it's a live performance so i'm not going to do that y'all just let me know what i miss in the comments below along with any info context of the song all that but let's go and get right into it Mm. Up ahead, a neon sign emerged from the fall. The Sounds like a seance. In that way, I knew so well. Branding a message into my mind. A single word. Hotel. Uh-oh. I like that intro. That was clean. It's kind of remind me a little bit of a Bronx tale, like with that doo-wop sound. Great movie, by the way. Also Smooth Criminal with the visuals, that hat. Hold up now. Uh, he's playing the hell out of that bass. <laughs> oh, man. They... This caught me off guard. It's like a whole different song from the intro. Mm. Hey. And aren't those his brothers on the background instruments? Or singing, I mean? I think so. Alright, alright, hold on. I gotta pause it. <laughs> I was kind of letting the time get away from me a little bit. We're almost three minutes in or so. Granted, this is a little bit of a longer song. It's like five and a half minutes, but y'all know my routine. I usually like to pause it about halfway through and give my take and talk about some things that are sticking out to me. And let me just go in and say there is a lot that's sticking out to me that I'm really liking about this. Number one, the intro. The intro was incredible. Like my anticipation from that intro was through the roof. I said that exact phrase before getting into this, but I just love how it opened up. There was that little seance prayer thing in the beginning i really like that and then it led into that acapella doo-wop sound i said it reminded me a little bit of a bronx tale love that movie and as soon as the acapella part started up the spotlight shined on him and you could see the silhouette of his figure with the hat on that just gave me chills now that aside and i want y'all to know this is also my first time hearing the song in addition to the live performance so when the song came in like that that completely 100 percent 
caught me off guard. And I mean, sonically, the energy, the tempo, everything, those two parts are exact opposites of each other. That being said, it works really well. And I think that surprise really added to the performance so far. It really made it more fun to react to. It really got me into it. It caught my attention, that's for sure. So intro aside, now let's talk about the actual song. I am loving the song. It's a very fast tempo that really stuck out to me. I think I've done some faster tempo songs from Michael, but nothing near this. I mean, the closest I can think of is maybe like Jam. This is on another level though, and I'm loving it because I never really heard anything like this before from Michael. It almost reminds me a little bit of Stevie Wonder, like I'm thinking Higher Ground or Superstition, where you have that funky bass line, again, fast tempo. And even his vocals seem a little bit funk influenced, which speaking of, his vocals are incredible, as always. I always like to give Michael credit for his singing because I really feel like that aspect of him is overlooked because he's just such an incredible performer and dancer and his videos are always very captivating so it's easy to look over his vocals i mean it really is and i think this performance is a perfect example of that you got these crazy visuals he's got this incredible outfit on killing it on the dance moves his stage presence is just next level he fills up the whole room with his energy so again it's not hard at all to look over his voice now i've never done anything like this before in my life and i'm sure i never will but just looking at this i can tell that you got to be in real really really good shape to be able to do what he's doing and not even just him i'm talking about everyone up on stage the guy who was killing it on the bass like that he's just so calm and collective um shout out to the background singers and the background dancers all of them are killing it too so far this is just a really really enjoyable experience it's very fun for me to react to so on that note i'm gonna run it back a few seconds and let's get back to it Hey, these outfits are crazy. <laughs> Very 80s. I love it though. There's definitely a real big disco influence too. I just noticed that. so catchy like the chorus especially sticks in your head but you see how he just fills up the stage it just takes up the whole thing I love that. Okay, come through guitar. Who is this? Is that a woman? I think so. What? He does it so effortless though. It looks simple. But like that right there. Like how did he just get up on his tiptoes and and not break his feet? <laughs> oh man. I don't know what he's doing. I like that too. Is that a little hopscotch? That's fire. <laughs> I'll save it to the end. I gotta clap it up. 
got to clap it up. It'll never cease to amaze me how he's able to sing, dance, and interact with the crowd, all three at the same time at a top tier level, and not once struggle or have to take a break. It, it's just, it blows my mind. Aside from Michael though, I do wanna clap it up for all the other people on stage, cause it wasn't just three or four people up there. There must've been 20, 30 people up on that stage. From the background singers to the background dancers, to the people on the instruments, everyone was top notch in sync i did not see one mess up i'm sure they rehearsed for this months in advance and made sure that it was perfect flawless before they even got up on stage yeah i had a great time with this one overall thank you to all of you who recommended it to me definitely gonna do a lot more live performances from him so recommend some more live performances from michael y'all know i will get to them as soon as i can that being said that is it for this video y'all and if y'all liked it please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already and comment in your request down below i will We'll get to them as soon as possible. And if y'all like to further support me, you can check out my Patreon link in bio. Your support means the world. I cannot express it enough. But y'all have a blessed day, blessed night, whatever part of the world you're watching this in. And peace.